Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Today we'll talk about Vitamin A could have a key role in both stem cell biology and wound healing. A new study published in the journal Science demonstrated that once stem cells have tran- transitioned into lineage plasticity, they are enabled to operate efficiently until they commit to a specific fate. During a screening process to identify crucial regulators of this phenomena, retinoic acid, the active form of vitamin A emerged unexpectedly as a significant factor. Lineage plasticity, observed in various tissues in response to injury and in cancer, is best studied in minor skin injuries due to the skin's constant extent exposure to damage when scratches or abrasions damage the epidermis hair follicle stem cells are the first to respond with other skin stem cells following suit to regenerate the skin some stem cells originally dedicated to hair growth transition into epidermal stem cells to aid in repair this transition involves temporary expression of transcription factors from both hair and epidermal stem cells our goal was to understand the state well enough to learn how the to dial up it up or down said Elaine Fouche professor at Rockefeller University we now have a better understanding of skin and hair disorders as well as a path towards preventing lineage plasticity from contributing to tumor growth are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the medical dialogues academy learn from industry experts who possesses in depth knowledge and experience in this field for further details scan the qr code provided or access the link in the description box below the researchers explored lineage plasticity highlighting its dual role crucial for directing stem cell to areas needing repair yet potentially leading to prolonged repair states in certain cancers if uncontrolled to understand the mechanism the screen small molecules in cultured mouse hair follicle stem cell mimicking wound condition was surprised to find that retinoic acid the active form of vitamin a was essential for these stem cell to exit lineage plasticity and differentiate into hair or epidermal cells in vitro through our studies first in vitro and then in vivo we discovered a previously unknown function of vitamin A a molecule that has long been known to have potent but often puzzling effect on skin and many other organs said Fouche the findings reveal that genetic dietary and topical interventions boosted or removed retinoic acid from mice and confirmed its role in balancing how stem cells respond to skin injuries and hair regrowth retinoids did not operate on their own their interplay with signaling molecules such as BMP and WNT influenced whether the stem cells should maintain quiescence or actively engage in regrowing hair By defining the minimal requirements needed to form mature hair cell type from stem cell outside the body, this work has the potential to transform the way we approach the study of hair biology," said Matthew Tierney, lead author of the paper. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.